All right. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you are in in the part, this part of the world. Um, welcome back to our weekly NeoVim plugin video series. Today we're going to be covering Tree SJ. And what does the SJ stand for? It stands for split join. So if you're familiar with the Vim plugin split join, this is going to be a very similar plugin. Uh, it's it achieves a very similar behavior. The difference is that it's written in Lua, and it uses Tree Sitter. Um, if you're not familiar with Tree Sitter, you can uh, take a good listen to our previous video, the video that we did last week on Tree Sitter and how to get that installed and configured. But for today, we're going to cover Tree SJ, Tree Split Join. Why would you need this plugin? Well, uh, let's take a look at what it does first. I'm going to go ahead and open up this video here and turn off my webcam. Let's take a quick look. So you see here he has some code and he has blocks inside that code. What he's doing here is with his hockey, he's invoking the uh, tree sitter or tree SJ toggle command. So you can see here that the blocks automatically get um, formatted into multi-line statements, uh, you know, as he's performing that toggle. So this is useful, like if you have super long functions or super long blocks that you just wanna break down into multi-line statements, you press your, your hotkey, and it'll invoke TSJ toggle, and it'll break them down for you automatically. Really cool, I like to use this a lot when I'm doing my, my development, especially in TypeScript. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and dive into installation. Um, all right, so I'm gonna first uh, move this over to the side a little bit, and move this over here. And let's go ahead and get started. What you see here is my init.lua. My init.lua file has several require statements, one of them being plugins right here, as you can see. So that's where I keep all of my Packer uh, plugin declarations. So if we go into plugins, you can see that I have a bunch of use statements, which is required by Packer, tells Packer to install this particular package. So at the very bottom here, I have one already called tree SJ. Uh, it's commented out, so let's go ahead and uncomment it. I'm gonna just do the quick replace command here. Beginning of the line, replace with nothing, done. Okay, so we're grabbing this repository or this particular plugin from the GitHub repository Wansmer tree SJ. Um, and we're also creating a dependency here with tree sitter. So this, like I said, this plugin does use tree sitter. We already have it installed, but we're gonna put the um, dependency here uh, just for the fun, fun of it. All right, so let's go to plugin configs to see what's required for configuring this plugin. All right, so you can see here, I already have my configuration installed. I'm gonna go ahead and uncomment all of this by doing my handy dandy set command again. And uh, maybe next week we'll take a look at um, another plugin called GCC or comment, which allows you to automatically comment and uncomment code depending on what language you're writing. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and dive into the configuration of TreeSJ. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn off use default key maps. I like to define my own key maps for TreeSJ. Um, so we're going to set that to false and actually I'm not going to set any key maps right now. I'm just going to show you the usage through the commands themselves. Check syntax error, set that to false. Um, so if there's a syntax error on the line that you're trying to join or split, then it will not be formatted. Max join length. All right. So if you're trying to split a line that has more than this number of characters, it will fail. So I set mine to 120, I feel like that's a pretty good value. Cursor behavior hold. This uh, determines the behavior of a cursor that when, when you're joining or splitting a line, I like, I like it on hold. Um, so, you know, wherever your cursor is inside that node, a node being uh, part of the abstract syntax tree that tree sitter defines, then it just holds it there to wherever it is. 
Notify true. If there are any problems, it'll notify us of any problems. And langs. This is where things get interesting. This is where you define the languages that you want TreeSJ to work with. So I have here one called Lua, and I require from the TreeSJ package itself. The TreeSJ package itself has a langs directory of all of the supported configurations uh, for the supported languages. So let's go back to the GitHub repository real quick. Take a look at the Lua TreeSJ directory. Within here, you'll see another directory called langs. These are all the languages that TreeSJ supports. So Lua being one of them, we have a Lua.Lua. .lua. And in here, you'll see what the definitions are. Uh, essentially, we're just defining what a table constructor is, what an argument is, what a block is, and so forth. So if you wanted to write your own um, configuration for a language, you could, one that's not already in here. <clears throat> and then I also include the, the TypeScript lang. All right, so I'm going to push this back over to this side here, and let's go back into the configuration. So you can see here in my langs table, I have Lua require treesj langs.lua and TypeScript require treesj langs.typescript. Keep in mind, however, that this requires you to have the tree sitter parser for that language installed. We covered this last week on how to install different parsers for the tree sitter um, plugin, but essentially it's just ts install Lua. I already have it installed. Do you want to reinstall it? I do not. So. If you're going to put a language in here, make sure to have the tree sitter parser installed as well. And then the dot repeat function. If you want to use dot to repeat the TS toggle command. And I set that to true. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save my changes. And I'm going to reload. Whoop, I need to save both my files there. And I'm going to go ahead and reload my uh, Vim program. And it's going to tell me, yeah, okay. It's not found. That's completely fine. Oh, actually, I may have a syntax error there on my plugin configs file. Let's take a quick look. Yes, I just got rid of a few too many comments here. Okay, no problem. All right, so now it's gonna tell me tree SJ not found. Okay, that's expected because I haven't installed that plugin yet. So once Vim loads, I can run Packer install and it's installing TreeSJ. Quit that, reload Vim again. All right, looks like there's no more error message, so that is good. Let's take a quick look at usage now. Um, so I'm gonna jump into my Lua plugin configs file, because my plugin configs file actually is quite big. Um, it's actually too much for me to handle, so I'm gonna use the handy dandy UFO plugin to code fold everything into just single line statements. This is just code folding. We covered this in a UFO video. And then uh, let's take a look at the uh, hmm, toggle command here. Okay, not that one. Let's take a look at MVM tree C. Okay, this one's okay. So uh, updated focus file here, this block only has three statements. I can really handle all of those three statements being in one line. So I can do here's TSJ toggle in that block and that automatically turn that into a single line statement. Now you can do the same thing, TSJ toggle, and it'll automatically turn that into a multi-line statement. Now this is the, the beauty and the power of TSJ um, or TreeSJ. I really have been enjoying it so far. It works with multiple languages. I also use it with TypeScript and it works pretty good on TypeScript. But you can see here that uh, you can you can do this with pretty much most statements. So look at that. We're doing it with the icons. That actually looks a lot better. I actually, uh, huh. No, I changed my mind. I'm going to turn that back into a multi-line statement. All right. Well, that is TS or tree SJ, tree split join. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, I will not be posting a video. But the week after, we'll take a look at the comment plugin, which allows you to automatically create comments or uncomment uh, lines based on the language that you're using. Thank you very much.